auto sector, JSW Group and MG Motor India, they have joined forces with an aim to focus on creating a robust EV ecosystem with forward and backward integration of the supply chain. They've also unveiled Cyberster, a pure electric long reach premium car. First of all, we're extremely honored that uh, SAIC and MG Motor India uh, selected JSW to partner with. Uh, my father has always dreamt, like you mentioned, of building a car. And I think earlier when the internal combustion engine system was the predominant system in automobiles, there were a lot of barriers to entry. Mm. I think with the whole electrification and with EVs and new energy vehicles becoming the norm, uh, the barriers to entry have gone away and new players and new entrants like JSW uh, can enter the field. Mm. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a great, it's a momentous occasion and uh, we are very excited. Right. Uh, Mr. Chaba, if I were to ask you, what do both partners really get on the table? On one hand, you've got an automobile giant, which is uh, China's largest automobile maker. You have uh, JSW, which has a huge supplier base across the cement business, the uh, steel business, infrastructure, defense, energy and whatnot. So what do both the companies bring on the table? Frankly, it looks like an incredible partnership. Uh, and, and the way we hit it off since uh, last few months, it feels like it really proves the point that the whole is uh, bigger than the sum of its parts. Mm. And, and, and I think joining of this joining of these two joints, uh, frankly, creates a, a very different kind of an alchemy of uh, you know, superpower, in my opinion. So, uh, see, it's more than the money, more than uh, synergies, it's, it's probably the chemistry, which is important. And I think both the sides are very excited, and we are also very lucky and fortunate to have GSW as a partner. So now, as Mr. Jindal said, that his dream is to uh, do a lot and lot in this country. You know, uh, Atman Nirbharta he talked about. He talked about backward integration. So, Parth and, 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 and GSW family wants to get into cell manufacturing, which was frankly very difficult uh, for our country. Mm -hmm. So they want to get into cell manufacturing, they want to get into parts manufacturing, and which will hopefully reduce the cost of inputs and we should be able to provide EV at a very affordable price. Our vision is to, to bring EV at price parity with ICE in the shortest possible time. And that's what frankly is our motivator and, and reason of excitement. Right. Let me also ask you, the Competition Commission of India has cleared uh, JSW Group picking up a 35% stake in MG Motor India. Now what does this mean in terms of numbers? How much are you putting in to buy this stake? So, um, apart from JSW's 35%, uh, uh, we have an Indian financial investor uh, who is picking up 8% in the venture. Um, and the dealers of MG India and the employees are picking up another 8%. Mm. So, total 51% uh, of the company uh, will be owned by Indians. Mm. Um, and total investment that we are making uh, is to the tune of 5,000 crores mm. uh, into the venture. That is all uh, the the PE partner, the dealers and JSW put together or only JSW? No, the, the total investment into the venture. Is, uh, oh, is 5,000 crores. All right. Uh, Mr. Jabba, there was a lot of focus on new energy vehicles out there. Now, when we speak about new energy vehicles, what exactly is the game plan? Is it uh, only electric vehicles that you would be building? Are you going to be building uh, plug-in hybrid uh, vehicles as well? ICE vehicles too? So, so uh, actually, uh, that's a good question. Um, uh, when we talk about new energy vehicles, uh, the progress in uh, uh, in in, in um, innovation is huge right now. You know, and and when we talk about uh, uh, hybrids, you know, it's like saying steel. In steel, you have lots of categories of steel. You know, so in hybrid, also it starts with mild hybrid, strong hybrid. Within strong hybrid, you have a series and parallel and a lot of kind of configuration to give you the best output in that configuration. And then there's a plug-in hybrid, mm. which is closest to the EV. So for our country, as Mr. Jindal also announced, that frankly it makes a lot of sense that till consumer has got this mm. uh, uh, anxiety about the range, battery management and things like that, mm. plug-in hybrid can suit the requirement of our country in a big way, where you don't have to bother about the charging point next available. Mm. 80% of the time you are driving the car as EV and if you run short of charge, you can run it on petrol. Mm. So that plug-in hybrid, frankly, is going to be revolutionary for our country, we feel strongly. And our discussion right now is how do we bring that 
very costly technology at affordable price to our country and that's what we are focusing on right now right now uh, i'd like to yeah, add sure. add to this point currently in india uh, plug in hybrid technology does not exist hmm. in the same form as which we are talking about hmm. what we are saying is a plug in hybrid will have a battery which has a range of at least 150 kilometers and have an engine as well hmm. so as india is transitioning from ice to evs hmm. there will be a period of time where the charging infrastructure will develop hmm. in this period of time we feel that in order to cater to the end customer who has range anxiety this is the most and the best technology available today this product has been extremely successful in other parts of asia uh, and commands a huge market share in the largest auto market in the world which is china mm. um at and all under $25000 mm. and that is our aim our aim is to bring this plug in hybrid technology uh, under $25000 into the indian market and we are hopeful that we will be able to get a favorable uh, tax support from government of india exclusive conversation there with the JSW group but let's slip into a short break up next we'll get you some market technicals ruchit jain of fipesa.com will join us stay tuned we'll be right back